Hey, yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Coach Myers, coming to you from the Old School Gym. Today, I want to talk to you about prehab or preventative rehab. Now, prehab exercises are movements and positions that we use to prevent the occurrence of future in injury and also kind of shore up any type of uh, weak links or areas that are particularly vulnerable. Now, there's a ton of different movements that I use with my athletes every day, but if I had to pick just three, these are the three that I would tell you every wrestler can benefit from doing these every single day. All right, now the first one is for the posterior part of the shoulder and really to help prevent uh, shoulder injuries or any type of shoulder problems, and that is a band pull apart. So you're gonna take your band, hold about a medium grip, keep your wrist straight, and you're gonna pull straight back to your chest, right like that. Control on the way back, you know? When I see people do this, they'll kind of let the band pull them back like that. You wanna pull all the way through the chest, and straight back right there. Good squeeze in the back of the shoulder blades. So that's probably the most crucial one that we can do for shoulder health. Now the second one is a band pull through. So you're gonna take that band, loop it around a pull or a rack. You're gonna step over them. And then what you're gonna do is don't bend at the waist or hunch your back. We're gonna hinge, squeeze the glutes and extend the hips. Right like that. Control on the way back, forceful. You don't want to squat down like this. It's not a squat, it's a hinge. So we're going to hinge, squeeze the glutes, forcefully, right like that. That's probably the best one for the posterior chain. Now the third one is for the neck. Again, you're going to take your band, you're going to put it around the head, and then what you're going to do is keep your spine straight and just pull. You're gonna hold that static position. You don't wanna pull so hard that your head's pulled over to the side. I'm giving myself just enough resistance so that I can keep my spine straight and keep it in the middle. Now you're gonna repeat that on every direction. You'll go here, you'll go here to the side. We'll do 10 seconds that way. Once you feel like you got a pretty good handle on that, the way you can start doing is you'll do a 10 second rotation first. So right here, I'm providing resistance out to the side. I'm gonna slowly rotate, look to, look to that arm. I'm gonna look away from it. Nice and slow, I'll do ten, either 10 seconds or 10 reps there, and then another 10 second hold at the end before I switch directions. Now, it's a couple different strategies of how you can use these prehab movements. The first one is you can do a little prehab routine like this. Let's say 100 reps of each, 100 pull throughs, 100 band pull aparts, and you know 25 reps in each direction on the neck. And you could do that maybe in the morning or you know, the last thing of the day before bed. That would be one strategy. Another strategy is to use this as part of your warm-up. I like that strategy. It gets everything nice and warm. Make sure your glutes are firing. Make sure those rear delts are nice and warm. Make sure you work any kinks out of the neck. So I like that strategy. The third strategy, and the one that I utilize most often, is to sprinkle those prehab movements in between your main exercises as active recovery. So this is especially useful when I'm training a big group of athletes. Say we're doing deadlifts or we're doing presses or we're doing split squats or rows or something where they need to take a nice rest in between because we're going really heavy you don't want a bunch of athletes just standing around you kind of program in their prehab so that way they just knock it out while they're waiting to get back up to the platform and do their next set the most important thing is to do these movements every single day i have a million more that i can teach you but start with those three pull aparts hip extension four-way neck resistance all you need is a minivan mini van <laughs> all you need is a mini band you don't necessarily need a mini van for that um, and if you can work in 100 reps of those every single day i guarantee number one you're going to get stronger and your chance of injury is going to go way down thanks guys